Hello and welcome to the installation video for Red Alert 2 Flip Missions mod. So in this video I'm going to be going over two ways to install it, as well as a few handy tips for if things are a little bit difficult in that process. So, uh, first things first, directories. Uh, if you don't know where your game directory is, this is a list of a few of the options. So uh, just main drive, Westwood, Red Alert 2, or this is the first decade directory, which is EA Games, Planet Cocker First Decade, Red Alert 2 TM, Red Alert 2, bit of a long one. And then the origin directory is that one. I don't know any of the other ones, um, but if you don't know your directory, then that's the first port of call, as it were. Uh, so the main way of installing the mod is through the installer, uh, very kindly made by Bodrix, and it works pretty well. So as you can see here, I've just got a clean install of Red Alert 2, and I'm going to pull up the installer and copy the address here, put it into the installer like that, and click Install. Um, and that's just going to go along like that. Now, while this is happening, I should explain that uh, antivirus software can interfere with the installation process. So it's important that you add an exemption for the installer or uh, or just disable it while you're installing the mod. No viruses, I promise. Uh, and yeah, as you can see, all done. And if we just scroll down here to FM client, I'll start that up. You can see it should boot up pretty quickly and give you the option to, I'm gonna set that right down very quickly so that it doesn't drown me out and you can start doing all the settings. Um, so the client starts off uh, as default in full screen. There's a theme option here, but we don't actually have any other themes at the moment. Uh, Windowed Borderless is advisable uh, if your you know, version of Windows and everything supports it. And um, yeah, basically that's that. And as you can see, oh yeah, I've got my name there. You can set your name, but it doesn't actually affect your gameplay in any way and it'll then ask you probably to restart once that's happened. So um, that's what you can expect from doing it that way. I'm just gonna close that up. Now, I'm gonna get rid of that and delete that because we've done that part. If the installer works for you, that's great. You can stop watching, all is sorted. And the second way that you can install the mod, if the first way didn't work for you for whatever reason, maybe because you can't disable your antivirus firewall or whatever, uh, we have just a manual download of all the files. They're in 7-zip for better compression. Um, and it's a very useful app overall. Anyway, uh, so again, I've got another clean directory here. I'm just gonna copy everything from here, drag it over and manually install into there. This will have pretty much exactly the same effect as uh, using the installer. It's just, this one is obviously slightly more complicated for people who don't really do much in file editing. So if we scroll down to FM client again, uh, and launch that, we will see in a moment, it boots up. There we go. And once again, you can go into here and change stuff. You've got the audio options, display, change your resolution as I did before. So that's how you do that. And as you can see, we've got two menus here. We've got the missions of flip missions and then bonus ones, which is the original game ones and the two ones that didn't quite fit the campaign set up, uh, as well as our credits and everyone who was involved in that. So. Anyway, that is that. Uh, that is how you install the mod in two different ways. If you have any issues, uh, please let me know in the comments. And uh, if this is the first you're hearing of this mod, I will have a link in the description to the ModDB page uh, where you can check it out. And if this is the first you've heard of the release, then on the ModDB page, you will be able to access the download. And if that doesn't work, we can have a second uh, mirror link to the uh, to a Google Drive mirror of that. So. That should have all bases covered as far as possible. Right, uh, thank you for watching, and I uh, hope this has been useful. See you.